Here we are in section 2.5. We're going to do the answers to 1 through 8. We'll have this up here for reference. There's three steps that will solve any of these equations down here. Uh, number 1, 35 less than, less than, that's going to be subtract, so we're going to take 7 times a number. Let's do n, I guess. 7 times a number, 35 less than that is 98. What's the number? So we're going to solve this. We don't have any parentheses. Fractions are combining to do, so we add or subtract the 35 and divide by 7. So we get 19 is the number. Now it says the perimeter of a rectangle is 702 centimeters. The length is 71 longer than the width. So now remember the perimeter is 2L plus 2W. So we're going to take 702 by sticking that guy in there, then equals two lengths, which we know are 71 plus the width, plus 2W, so 2L plus 2W. And look up here, we now have our equation. We can simplify it by getting rid of the parentheses. 702 equals 142 plus 2w plus 2w. Combine all the like terms, we have uh, 702 equals 142 plus 4w. Subtract 142 from both sides and we get 560 equals 4w. Divide both sides by 4 and we get w equals 140. Now, this only gives us w. We can stick that back up in there and say 140, 71 bigger than that, is 211. So we're going to have the width is 140, what are we, centimeters? I think we're centimeters here. Centimeters. And the length is then 211 centimeters. Number three, uh, no parentheses, no fractions, but combining we can get the p's together, plus 4p, plus 4p. We get 11p plus 12 equals 33. Subtract 12 from both sides, and we get 11p equals 21. Divide both sides by 11, and we get p equals 21 elevenths. Number four, uh, first thing we're going to do is simplify by getting rid of these parentheses. So we have 3n plus 48 equals 7 minus 2n. Make sure you know this is a plus 4 right here. Uh, we've got to combine things together. Get these two n's together by adding 2n to both sides of the equation. We have 5n plus 48 equals 11. There's the 7 and the 4 put together. Subtract 48. 5n equals negative. 37 and divide both sides by 5 and we get n equals negative 37 fifths or you could punch that in and get 7 negative 7.4 number 5 5x minus 10 equals 5 jump that in x minus 10 divide uh, combine the x's together we get negative 10 equals negative 10. That always happens. So it is all numbers. This is always true no matter what we do for x. Number 6. Um, we don't have any parentheses, fractions, but we do need to combine these together. Minus 3x, minus 3x. And we have negative 7 equals 12x. Divide both sides by 12, divide both sides by 12, and we get x equals negative 7 twelfths. Number 7. Ooh, parentheses. Let's jump this negative 7 in, and we get 5x minus 7x minus 21 equals a negative 2x plus 12. Now, 5x minus 7x, let's combine those together. That's a negative 2x minus 21 equals a negative 2x plus a 12. Try to combine those x's together, and we're going to add 2x here, add 2x here, and we're left with negative 21 equals 12. How embarrassing. That never happens.
So there is no solution. You can never find an x value that would make negative 21 equal 12. And number 8. Ooh, 0 0.09x equals 13 minus 0.18x. Uh, no fractions. We could if we wanted to. If you don't like decimals, we could times everything by 100. That might be kind of cool. You could just start adding the decimals, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to times everything by 100 just to uh, see what happens with the decimals. If you don't like decimals, then times everything by 100, and you now have 9x equals 1300 minus 18x. Look at that, no decimals now. Plus 18x, plus 18x, you get 27x equals 1300 divide by 27, divide by 27, and x then equals, punch that in your calculator and you get about 48 point, uh, mm -hmm, one five. Good.